Just days after its epic Pillars of Creation mega-image, and others of some bizarre smoke rings around two massive stars, NASA has released its latest stunning observation, a pair of galaxies in a cosmic collision. Shown is IC1623, a pair of colliding galaxies located in the constellation Cetus, or the Whale, about 70 million light-years from Earth. IC1623, like most distant galaxies, radiates strongly in the infrared spectrum, which is seen by JWST's near-cam sensor and used to make this primary picture. This interacting galaxy system is particularly bright at infrared wavelengths, making it an ideal proving ground for Webb's ability to study luminous galaxies, with the NASA, ESA, and CSA teams. A team of astronomers captured this event across the infrared portions of the electromagnetic spectrum using a trio of Webb's cutting-edge scientific instruments, MIRI, NIRSPEC, and NIRCAM. In so doing, they provided an abundance of data that will allow the astronomical community at large to fully explore how Webb's unprecedented capabilities will help unravel the complex interactions in galactic ecosystems. These observations are also accompanied by data from other observatories, including the NASA, ESA Hubble Space Telescope, and will help set the stage for future observations of galactic systems with Webb. It has long captivated astronomers' curiosity to see what would happen if these two galaxies merged. Intense infrared emission is being produced by the ongoing extreme starburst, and the merging galaxies may be forming a supermassive black hole. This crucial information has been obscured from telescopes like Hubble by a dense band of dust. This spectacular image is a combination of MIRI and NIRCAM imagery, made possible by Webb's infrared sensitivity and its impressive resolution at those wavelengths. Webb's diffraction spikes can be seen rising above the galaxy, indicating that its bright, compact core is its source of these effects. The interplay between starlight and the telescope's physical structure results in the characteristic eight-pointed diffraction spikes which resemble snowflakes. Webb's first deep field image and others with bright stars stand out as having a spiky quality due to the nature of Webb's observations. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.